Hello, this is Leah. Welcome. I have a lot of things to talk about and to show you today. So let's just get right into it. This last couple of weeks has been pretty busy and I've been doing a lot of side projects and I've been making some gifts. So this video is just gonna be giving you a brief uh, little peek into what I've been doing and showing you a couple projects that I have been working on from the beginning. Um, if you go back to the first upcycle, kind of the kickoff to the Zero Textiles Challenge um, back in December of 2021, I said I was going to be making some squares, some string pieced squares that would eventually be a quilt. So I wanted to show you a few of those and just how they're coming along. I'm doing two blocks each um, of the same fabrics as I go. And again, these are the scraps from all the other projects that I am working on. I haven't decided if they're gonna be completely scrappy every block or if I will do two of the same in each block. I haven't decided, but this is just kind of an overview of what the, the primary pattern and the secondary pattern and the third pattern will be. So the first one will be this star with the black background, I guess I'm calling it, foundation. And then the secondary is the diamond. And then the third is the pinwheel that I've got going on. So I've never done this particular quilt before, but I'm very excited about how it's gonna look in the end. So I will keep you updated on this one. Next, I started this project a long time ago. I'll link that video down below where I was going to make, I think five or six of these needle books. And I only finished two and then I got occupied with my mom's health and obviously her passing. So I never went back to this. And instead of trying to tackle this, I think I'm just going to go ahead and offer these up for sale and then not have so much pressure on myself to get the other ones done. <clears throat> so I do have, I think a flip through of these, maybe not, I don't know, I'll have to go look, but um, I'll just do a, a quick flip through of the elements. I'm kind of doing it the same in all of these needle books. Um, just a bunch of really fun hand sewing on this as well as machine sewing. Great pockets, places to put your needles and your other notions. This is a double pocket. And here's another pocket. This is a piece of my um, roll, my slow stitching roll that I did. Again, another, this one's a double pocket and a piece of felted wool. Great places to put your, your little tools. Uh, I will fill with a few vintage notions as well to anyone who decides to, to get this little guy. There'll be more pictures and information, of course, in the listing on Etsy. Um, I'll just quickly show you this one. Again, very similar, just different colorways. Really cool. Maybe looking at this will inspire me. This is not part of it. <laughs> will inspire me to get going on this again. So many projects, so little time. Those two needle books in my Etsy shop. So as far as the gifts that I have been working on, um, I have some video that I wanna show you, but those were inspired by a few more panels that I found in my stash. And 
So I added those to the scrap basket of panel projects. And one of those was, I had three of these panels that are little Lola ladybug. And you make this really cute little ladybug uh, stuffed doll. I'm going to put these two in my shop as well because I'm just not going to get to them. But they're so cute and someone should, should be able to play with these. So these will also be in my shop. But here's the one I made for my little niece, Lily. So if you noticed, I also made a little mug rug and that was to use up every last bit of this panel and including the instructions. There's a, a really big portion of this panel that is the instructions. And I thought, what better way to do that than a rope project? Wrap that up cut it in strips, wrap it, and make a little mug rug. And so the very next panel project that we are going to do, which I'm recording right now, is how I did those, that mug rug, where you have the complete image instead of all of it being strips. And that inspired a gift that I made for my sister. She actually asked me to make her a caddy for her remotes and uh, things like that. So I also made some mug rugs for them as well. And I use that same technique where you have a full image on your mug rug as well. Or you can do it on the bottom of a basket or whatever you like. So the next panel project that we make, we will also do this. And here is the gift I made for my sister. By the way, this little basket and these mug rugs, this is all also in my Etsy shop as a set. I just wanted to use up all the last bits of fabric from my sister's project, and this is what I came up with. So the reason why this works so well, of course, along with the ladybug instructions is that you can take any panel 
that you have. So this is a panel that I bought. I have no idea why. It's a fish panel, like fishing panel. And yet there may be parts like this that I like, but I don't know what else I would do with this fishing theme. So what I'm going to do is take this panel and make some mug rugs or coasters and we're going to do a kind of ugly panel part like the actual fishing part we'll be cutting into strips for the coiling and then the really cool almost like abstract painting portions of this panel like this will be the center so I will show you how to do that in the next video. So the next thing I wanna show you is I was doing an upcycling project. I took 30 shirts that were all cotton and some of them are vintage and I just completely deboned or took all the seams off and then cut them up into five inch squares. And I kept some of those squares for myself, but then there was a good amount to offer to others as well. And these are great for embroidery projects, patch projects. You can obviously put them together and do some patchwork, um, slow stitching of any sort, uh, journaling, anything. So I want to quickly show you some of the the wonderful fabrics. I just love using clothing for uh, projects because it's they're so soft already. You know, it's almost like a quilt that you've already done uh, many, many washes and so many fun textures, you know, all kinds of great textures. And the other thing about clothing for the most part is they're double sided. So that also gives you a lot more options when you're using it for different things. This one's got, it's probably hard to see, but it's kind of has a different texture on it. So lots of fun, beautiful, love this. It's just a, a flannel, really thin flannel shirt. Again, double-sided, so you could use this on anything. So in this particular pack, there are 30, as I said, one each. So that would make a great, you know, you could do a border on a quilt or you could do a doll quilt or you could do a runner, or as I said, you could use these individually in other kind of slow stitching projects or patch projects, you know, mending and darning and adding elements to your clothing is such a good idea. Just transforms what you have and, and obviously, as I've been preaching, <laughs> uh, it gives your item a bit more longevity. This one's a bit of a corduroy. So that is the 30 pack. So one each, I've got a few of those. They're all the same. And then I also have a few packs of 25 so it's just 25 of those fabrics and then i have one that's just 15. so you can check those out in my etsy shop and of course as a result of cutting all of those shirts up into fabric i had a ton of seams i mean just here let me grab some just all kinds of, of discarded seams. So I thought, okay, what am I gonna do with these? You know, I could add them as fabric collage together. 
uh, but I came up with just using them in fabric twine. And yes, it's a little bit more difficult. You might have to cut a few pieces that are th really thick, um, but for, the, you know, like this, I just left it there. And you do get a callus, <laughs> I must warn. Um, but look at this. I mean, you have this great twine that's just seams that you can use in so many different ways. So many different ways to use this fabric twine. So I am going to continue just as I'm watching TV to make this whole bag that I have here of seams so that they don't go to waste either. Now, one of the things I made with the fabric twine was this little purse charm. I just sewed four of them together, added some beads, tied some of those fabric pieces from the shirts on. Also made this patchwork heart and added a little lobster claw here. Of course, this can be a cheek, a cheek cane. <laughs> this can be a keychain as well, but I have started another upcycle project with five dresses and they're kind of like an art to wear kind of dress from probably the 90s 2000s and I have turned them into bags. So I just was working on this one as the first one because I wanted to kind of come up with a design and then I'm gonna make the other, the other four. But uh, I'm really, really happy with the results of this upcycle. So cute, the different elements. And obviously this was the arms and I made them into these great pockets for the front. These little things were pockets already. This was the, the hole. My cat has decided not to sleep. I thought I timed it correct. This is the button placket that was down the hole dress that is on both the back and the front. Excuse me, leave this alone. This is not yours. And then inside was the back of the dress of the bodice part. So that's a huge, wonderful pocket that also had a, these cute little embroidered elements on it. And then I just added some webbing that I had for a great handle. So this just gets clipped right to the zip and it can be removed obviously if you want. So I am currently working on a whole line of these bags with a bunch of dresses that I am upcycling. That you thought I forgot. I didn't. <laughs> All right, so the raggy is pretty minimal. There's not much for the ragging and, and the sewing, the, even the hand sewing uh, stood up pretty good to the wash. None of my little things adjusted or came off. So I think we're good for wearing this. The Fabri-Tac is, is a good good thing now it's not very flattering because it's kind of big uh, across my chest but uh, it certainly is a good logo because <laughs> it 
it shows. Yeah, so as I said, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing with my logo. If uh, I'll just do some photos like it is, or if I'll do a graphic, I'm not sure yet. But this is done, it's washed, it's raggy, it's beautiful, I love it. And uh, on to the next project. Um, thank you very much for watching this video and we'll do the very next video will be the panel project where we use a panel we don't like and portions of it will be whole cloth and not all strips. So look forward to that and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.